Hey guys, Phantoms at Talon X18 here with another video, and today I'm gonna do a review on the um, Ultra Monster 500 series, Panza Gidon. Or I think that's what it sounds like on the Spark, Ingo Spark thing. I'm guessing it's Hanza Gidon. So yeah, uh, forgive me if I mispronounce the name because you know I'm I'm an American and I'm I'm not sh sure if what I say in Japanese is correctly or not. So yeah, forgive me on that. Now, let's take a look at the tag it came with. But unfortunately, I got this from Toku Catfish once again. Uh, yeah, you go thank him. And yeah. I will post a community post later on, on the figures he still have for sale. And I will, um... If you have Discord, um, try to get Discord so you can, like, contact him personally. In the DMs or private messages. And see which figure, like, he has still up for sale. And he's gonna, like, you know... He, he's gonna send it like um, Add it to eBay then for you to like buy or he'll send you the link So here's how it's gonna happen. He's gonna send you the link the eBay link of your um, I don't know your order and stuff like that You pay for it and then boom He just like sends it to you and you get the figure and that's it So you should give him a try like try to get some figures from him because he really needs to sell um, some figures he has for sale and he's trying to like, you know, get them away, or give them away, or I'll give away, pretty much. So yeah. Anyways, let's take a look at the tag real quick, but unfortunately, I have no tag, but, but I do have a... Uh, I do have, um... Clay. Oven-baked clay. Yeah. Anyways. Let's move along with the video. Now, this is Hanza Giran. The reason why I got this figure is because, well, he looked cool. He looks fun to play with and stuff like that. I mean, like, I like some monsters that can crawl under, like, you know, four legs and stuff like that, like, lower. I'm more used to the monsters that I'm, that are, like, you know, standing up this height, but I, I kind of like some monsters that are like this, you know? So, yeah. Oh, um,. Be sure to stay tuned because I will do review on these two figures um, individually, uh, Earthtron and uh, Alien Mephiles. No, not Mephiles. Um, Metron, I think, and as well as um, the Attack and Charge or the Transformer Ultraman Zeton toy. I'll check these out individually because I got them from uh, Hobby Link Japan. You should check out Hobby Link Japan because. Um, the shipping at first it may be expensive, but once you put a lot of money into the shipping, you will get it pretty fast in like two days or one day or so from FedEx. So yeah guys, stay tuned for these two figures or three figures to review individually. So yeah, Hanza Giran. Hanza, Hanza Giran or something like that. Anyways, let's take a look at the details up close. Damn, that's close. So yeah, there's the face. Nice detailing they did on the, the little eye. I'm not sure if you can see this, but they actually sculpt the eye. So, yeah. So, the detailing on this monster figure looks decent. Yeah, it looks neat. Kind of feels like an actual rubber suit or something like that. And look at the top here. You have a bunch of spikes that was formed on Tyrant's back. Now I might get the uh, I might <laughs> now I might get the Tyrant's figure from either the Ultraman G toy line or the DX version because the DX version is kind of big, bigger than the Spark Doll version, not Spark Doll but the smaller scale 2017 version. Nice silver. I like the silver paint they use. It actually is quite shiny. So yeah, uh, let's look on the bottom where its feet is. Did did some uh, detailing on under the mouth or the chin. Detailing. Uh, they did. They didn't do a lot of detailing under under him. So I'm guessing that's what the monster's um, suit kind of looks like. So yeah, uh, I don't get what is this. Um, is this supposed to be like a 
Is this like supposed to be the suit actor where his legs are in between? Eh, whatever. So yeah, that was detailing. So the detailing was good as usual for these um, Ultraman Spark Dog figures. So yeah. Now let's take a look at the paint they did. So of course, uh, they did a lot of silver right here. So they did a, lo a lot of gold as well for the... Um, here is painted gold. Gold, gold. Gold, uh, bleeding gold. I don't know why, but the bleeding gold kind of makes this figure pop out a, a little bit. Just to see all the like, you know, the good like paint stuff they did with the suit or not a suit, uh, the toy. So here on the face we have red for the eyes and the mouth, and the bottom is just plastic green. So yeah, for paint, it's decent, very decent. So articulation wise, um, uh, that. There, that's articulation. For real though, um, the only thing I don't like about this figure is that there's no articulation. I mean like, um, I'm guessing maybe a head articulation and a tail articulation would have like overall like improved the figure or make it more joy like playable or likable. But it's these type of cheap figures so, eh, I don't mind it. At least it can, at least it can like you know look good for like you know photos or if you add buildings, uh, tanks and stuff like that, it will look good for those type of photos at least. Now it's time for some comparisons. Here he is next to a figure I reviewed a while back, like a two months ago, Black King, so you can like see the scale. Here he is next to a figure I previously reviewed, which you should check out. King Joe Black. He was a great figure overall. So uh, be sure to uh, watch the review. Uh, the, the, the it will be linked down below. So yeah, he's quite taller because he's not a spark doll, obviously. Here he is next to a uh, Bolchaman Ginga. So yeah. Now here he is next to uh, Mother of Ultra, which I will do a review on eventually. Uh, hang on, uh, she's having problems standing. Come on, stand with me. Stand! D d there you go. Hopefully she stands. So yeah, here he is next to Mother of Ultra. And lastly, for those Transformers fans, um, here he is next to Studio Series Deluxe. Off-world Bumblebee, which I will do a review on later on. And so that's it. So let's take a look at the, the sound effects coming coming from the Ginga Spark. Yay! It's Ginga Spark, 2020. Who would have known? Anyways, um, I'm just gonna do this nowadays for our Spark doll reviews and stuff like that.
So yeah, it says Hanza Giron or something like that. So yeah guys, that was my review of the Ultra Monster 500 series, Hanza Giron. Now, um, do I recommend this figure? Uh, yeah, sure, if you're an Ultraman fan, Kaiju fan, or Ultraman Ginga fan, or a fan of the Spark Dolls in general, yeah, you should get it. You should add them to your, uh, collection, if you plan to, like, you know, do some, um, let's say, uh, fan series, or movies, or stuff like that, or even photograph, or art, arts in general. Because this figure could very well be good for your, like, display, or something like that. You know those type of photos where you add buildings and explosions, effects, and tanks, and all that stuff? Yeah, this figure will look good for those. But playability-wise, eh, not so much. But don't get me wrong, the paint apps, the, the sculpting on this figure is good. Everything is good. Now, how do I rate this figure? Um, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Because, yes, it's decent, it's a good figure. But I'm just asking a little bit for that articulation for the head and tail, and eh, I don't know. So yeah guys, uh, hope you guys like this video, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video, and there will be more content soon. So yeah, stay tuned guys, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys! Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram as well.